Alright, good morning everyone. Just had some breakfast and hydrated up a little bit, and I have a big construction project in mind for today. What I want to do, I saw someone else make a dam for the river to help with collecting logs, and that is totally up my alley. I want to do that, so what I want to do is we're going to dam this river here with logs, and then we're going to be able to chop trees down on top of the mountain like we were experimenting with in the last episode. And then we're going to build a zip line to bring all the logs that we collect at the dam right down here. And that's going to really help with the big wall construction project and the tower construction project. Because I really don't want to clear out the forest much more that's in the local area. I think it just it looks good. I don't want this to be just a clear cut field. And it's pretty much bad enough right now. It's good though because if we have the wall say right here in a line like this all the way around our hut. We have a nice open field to like shoot at people, right? And we can see him coming and hey Virginia, good morning. She's got a little something in her hand there. I wonder if she's just foraging. I don't know, I'm just gonna kind of watch her for a second. She's watching me, so. Oh, she's uh, she's coming over to me. Quick, uh, what do I do? What do I say? Good morning. Oh, hello. For me. Uh, okay, sure. Take that. Oh, okay. I'm following you now. Is that, the, is that the deal here? Oh, is this like she's gonna help me with the storyline? She's gonna bring me somewhere and tell me what to do? That or this is a part of the taming process? I really don't know. Oh, yeah. Virginia, I've been here before. It's okay. Oh, oh! Uh, oh, jeez! Okay, let's get some weapons out here. Hey, get back! What are you doing here, anyway? Knocking out two pieces of my armor. Excuse me! Okay, that's one down. And you. Get over here. <laughs> That's not gonna save you, buddy. Actually, it might. I think I'm out of arrows. Yeah. Whoops. I'll just peg him with rocks until he comes down. Get down. Here he is. Take that. Man, I'm a little bit rusty, I think. I'm not doing a good job fighting this one little scrawny tribal guy. Yeah, I think he's gone. Oh! Oh! Um... Here we go. Camouflage suit, you want that? Nice! I think we're- she's officially tamed now, she's with us. What are you- what are you eating? Wow. Really going to town on those berries. Right, so I don't- Kelvin, what the heck are you doing here, man? Well, no matter, just follow me, we gotta get to work anyway. Okay, sweet, we have got Virginia and Kelvin on the team now. She's just taking off immediately. I don't really know that you can do much to control her, but that's fine. Cannibal boy's back, come over here. I'm gonna finish what I started. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't hit this guy for crap. It would help if I could get the correct animation here. Alright, he just climbed up a tree and I'm gonna leave him to it. I'm done with this. Losing half my armor today already, fighting little tiny can cannibals. Okay, so we observed that the logs flow really well on this portion of the river here, but not so well past, like, this point right here. It, they don't really go through this little narrow creek here. So this will be the start of where we, like, deposit logs. And we can clear cut all the forest around here. And then we'll have to come up with a place to kind of dam the river here. And I think, if I recall, everything flowed really well up into about this area here. So this is where I'd want to start building. All right, first thing we're going to need is some logs. We'll make a big pile right here. Kelvin, why don't you come over here, buddy? And we'll get you to work, too. Okay, I definitely just heard a mutant. It might be that time of the year where <laughs> the mutants come out to play. Um, oh, he's... Oh, it's... Whoa, it's a it's a twins fighting a cannibal. And uh, twins definitely won that altercation. There's more cannibals in the area, though. Okay, there's Virginia and there's twins. And I, I'm pretty sure... Yeah, twins just probably was going to want to fight Virginia. <laughs> See what I can do here. Just keep your distance. Counter-attack when appropriate. Is that it? Oh, nice. Flawless victory. Funny, I can take out a twins no problem, but when it comes to the little monkey boy, can't do it. Okay, back to work here. Look out! Ah, sorry, man. Oh, that was right on top of Kelvin, too. Oh, this is convenient, too. So that's gonna be the staging area right there, I guess. Because I can just yeet logs right off of this, no problem. Actually, it's super convenient. 
Just watch out for Kelvin down there. Oh, buddy. I'm so sorry. Okay, that should be it for the logs up here. Kind of just watching my back here, because remember, there's a the big cannibal camp right on top of this hill, I think. Either this hill or the next one. And uh, Boss Band spawns up there, too, so I don't want to really fight him. All right, how you doing? Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is bad. Crap. I apparently I might have hit a threshold where the logs no longer like you can only have so many logs on screen at a time that doesn't make any sense I mean it does make sense but I don't like it crap man all right well you live and you learn I suppose there were a lot of logs down there but there's a lot more up here so I think we're probably at max capacity right now so let's just gather them all up down there and start building and then we'll start chopping some more Kelvin there's work to be done oh I just Pelted a bird with a log and killed it. Ah, I was gonna yell at Kelvin, but after that I'm thoroughly entertained, so he's good. Okay, last two, and we can get started on construction. And man, it feels good to have, like, such a huge surplus of logs to work with. We'll just let Kelvin get them all off the slope here, and I will start thinking about what we're gonna do here. See, I feel like this here was where we were having issues. Okay, what is this gonna do? Oh. That is kind of... Is that going to be good, actually? A little bit of trial and error, just kind of seeing what's possible here. And then I want to put something under this, right? Here. Uh, right there. Yeah. Well, it's kind of sloped down, but I think that will probably correct itself. Let's just keep going with it. Worked really, really good. Check this out. Okay, so now we're just going to build across. I wonder how this is all going to work. Like, how this is going to catch the logs. Ideally, I would want to make, like, a bridge. And then the logs, like, basically flow up right onto the top of the bridge. And then we can just kind of, like, grab them, chuck them over here. And then we'll put a zip line from, like, right here to the base. That would be awesome. Okay, here's going to be a problem, though. It doesn't want me to go this way. Can't do that. Let's maybe try and build it out this way then. Okay, so here's the problem. We've got like, we need half logs to kind of prop this up a little further, but I think it's gonna work out. Okay, well try as I might, I'm having a lot of issues with that post right there and I've, I've tried everything I can think of to fix it, but I think we might just need to kind of reposition the entire thing. That's okay, it's a learning process anyway. I don't mind a bit. Okay, so the issue we had there was that this was... It's too steep right here. Too steep of a slope. But maybe... Let's just do a little quick experiment here. If I toss some logs in the water... Where do they get hung up again? Kind of... Kind of like right here is the worst spot. Ideally, we want to catch them before they get all hung up. But this is a pretty flat spot like right here. This might be the spot then. All right, we begin again right here then. be the last bit for today because it's getting dark and I don't really want to be stuck out here all night but I do think this is going to work quite well. We'll have to do some further experiments to see if uh, the logs are going to get caught underneath the bridge or if we need to do something to kind of prevent that. But I'm going to head back to camp for tonight and get some grub into me and we'll pick things up first thing in the morning. Oh my it's winter. Kelvin what are you sleeping in the snow for you dummy? <laughs> we gotta build Kelvin a bed or something. Holy cow. Wow, what a scenery change though. This is just brilliant. I love it. Living in a winter state myself, I can just attest to the, the realism and how everything looks here. It's just perfect. They have done an excellent job. You can tell, you know, even though this is early access, they have focused on all the right things in my opinion. All they're really gonna do is just add in more content now. Like the building blocks are totally here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, maybe we'll make a covered bridge at some point, but I think I just wanna, yeah, I just wanna like, Oh, can I go the other way? Ah, yes, we can. Yes, just want to, like, put a top on this so we can walk across.
keeps telling me I'm cold, so I'm gonna build a couple of fires and see if that improves anything. Just like that, we gotta make, like, winter preparations. Get plenty of firewood going, build some big fires around, keep us warm and dry the best we can. Okay, so here's gonna be the ultimate test. I'm gonna chop down a tree up here. We're gonna land it in the river and see if it gets hung up on the bridge or if it's gonna pass right underneath it. Okay, there it goes. Right into the river. Just help out the couple that fall on the side. And yes, follow it right down. Okay, it's getting hung up kind of underneath, which is okay. A couple of them fell out along the way, but that's fine, so we can just kind of work our way down at some point, grab them, toss them back in. Okay, so the question then is, is there anything I can do here to prevent that from happening? I mean, we could do something like this, and then we could build, like, um, like a ramp, you know? Okay, so I think that's gonna be the trick there. However, I can't do that on this side, because it's, um propped up too far, I think. What if I trimmed up one of these logs? Would that work? Okay, just a little bit off the top there. Uh, no. Because now it wants to do that. Oh, I'm totally stuck. Ah. Trim a little bit more off to see if that does it. Nah, you, you, you apparently can't do the side supports like this unless they're at full length. I suppose I could just try and... Can I just set these in? No. Nope, not gonna let me set them down horizontally here. It's not gonna let me set down a post in the water. Ah, crap, I think we might have uh, reached the limit here. The only other thing I can think of would be to take these half pieces here and kind of use them to prop up the sides like this, and then that would kind of help block them off a little bit. Hmm, still quite a lot to be desired sometimes with the bill. Oh, hello there. Excuse me. Take that. Wrecking my stuff here. All right, I'm gonna fell a couple more trees in there and see how it's working now. Okay, so far so good, and then right down to the dam, and I mean, it's not terrible, because then you can just come right to here and walk down here and grab these up. Cannibals are a little bit curious as to what's going on around here. Hi there. Ooh, they're actually dressed in, like, snow gear. That's so cool. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna help him. Oh my god, a whole bunch more. Oh, took his arm off. Took his arm off and I'll just have that right now. Thank you. Oh, took his arm off too. Thank you. Making a collection here. Are they done now? Or are they just gonna like sit here until they bleed out? Yes, they just kind of writhe around for a second, I think. And then expire. Okay, so I suppose the last thing I need to do here is to frame up the zipline thingy. Just like this. Grab myself the, the rope gun, I guess they're calling it. And we're gonna spear that, and then I gotta bring this over to the house. I don't know, let's try it. Try it right there. And then, who's that? Perfect. And then I think you can reverse zipline. Oh, look at Virginia chilling out on our bone chair. I love that. Very cool. So yeah, can I just yeet myself up here and head back? Oh, very cool. I love that. Okay, so perhaps there are some improvements to be made, and perhaps inspiration will strike at some point on how to do that, but for now, I think it's time to do a little bit of a logging project and see how this really performs. Oh, hold on a second, though. Big man with a big club over there. Yeah, he's curious as to what's going on down here. I'm gonna stay right behind him. Whoop, there he is. He sees me, I think. Is this a big man and he took his mask off? Oh, it definitely is. Great. Just try to- Oh my god, your face! It's terrible! Looks like you got three headshots so far. That's four. And that did it. Wow, that was not terribly bad, was it? Oh. My. Goodness. What the heck happened to this guy? Definitely had some facial trauma there at some point. And that's probably why he was wearing the mask. Interesting to see him without the mask, though. Alright, where was I? We're getting to work on logging. Alright, I've felled several trees, and I've also just, in the process, <laughs> filled up the river with logs that are not moving. I might be able to just kind of push them around, though, get them moving down the river. Kind of seems to be working, just jostle them around a little bit. Yeah, they're moving now. Yeah, hey, look at that! They're all pinned down here now. Excellent! And then I should be able to just slap them right on the zip line, just like that, and send them home. A couple did make it on through. But most of them 
got stuck over here. Okay, let's zip on home and see how that worked down there. Look at this huge pile of logs sitting right on our doorstep. I got a pretty good feeling about this. Well, the only thing to do now is to just start framing out the wall. That's gonna be like a multi-day project though, probably well into next year. I think I'll start in the back because this uneven terrain is probably gonna present the biggest difficulty here. Let's just see how this even works. I've never even built the defensive wall stuff yet, so. All right, well, it's that time of day again where we can't see a damn thing, so probably just time to call it a day and get some rest. All right, a new day has dawned, and what I want to work on today is just further developing the bridge system up there. Maybe we'll do one more big logging trip up here, get it all built up and looking nice, of course, because it's probably going to be on the thumbnail, <laughs> let's be honest. Now, just doing some chopping, what I was thinking is, what if we had a secondary zip line? We could do like a zip line from that rock down to here, from that cliff up there down to here, and this could be just our, like our central point for feeding logs back into the main camp. Probably completely unnecessary, but I'm really enjoying it. And it just gives you something to do, right? Because like once you build your fort, what are you going to do? Well, you got to work on industry. You got to work on a pipeline for resources. And it'll keep our base area looking nice and relatively pristine without being, you know, g getting the clear cut scorched earth appearance. Oh, cannibal, take that! You can just get off the bridge. I'm sick of trying to having to repair this for you guys being all over the place. Take that. Holy, whoa! Kelvin, run your ass home, buddy. Should hopefully only be three or four arrows to kill him. That was, that was just three, I think. Whoop, <laughs> one, to, double tap, just to be sure, right? Virginia, do you see the other one? Oh, right here. Oh, you ducking, dodging bastard. Take that! Another one here. Woo! Gotta adjust my aim when I'm shooting uphill, I guess. Everybody good here? Right, the river system is working mostly as intended. Sometimes they just get a little clumped up. You gotta give them a little nudge all the way down. Perfect. And the other thing I gotta figure out is uh, how do we go about the rooftop here? Alright, just like that, that's it for the, the rooftop part. And the snow's all melted down here. Lovely. I wanted to now see... Oh, let's finish out the stairs there. Right, I wanted to see if I could do a railing with sticks. All right, check that out. That's pretty damn cool, isn't it? Oh, except, um, how did this just break? I don't like that. Might be some kinks to work out here. Also, ooh, ooh, this one broke too. What is going on here? Stop doing that. Okay, well, nobody move because it's finally all put together and I don't want to break it again. All right, and since it's late, I think it will call it right here. I'm going to just do some further experiments to see if I can figure out a better system down here. And then I'll show you what I come up with first thing in the morning. All right, guys, here it is. This is the final form right here. So I've got a little bit of uh, a couple of barriers here that will help block the logs from going underneath the bridge. And I've got the steps right here so you can run down here and grab them. And then you can shuttle them right over here to the zip line and send them back to the base over the barrier wall that we're building down there. A little bit of a fire here in case you want to do some cooking or to warm up a little bit. But other than that, this is done. So what I would like to do now is a little bit of exploration. And I think I know just the place to go. There was that one... Oh, where, where was it? It's the place that we found the slingshot. I'd like to go see if we can find that cave again because the cave that was next to the guys that had the slingshot, they were all like kind of skewered up in the pond out in front of the cave. That, it was like the end of a zip line, which we couldn't use. But now that we have the rope gun, we can definitely try to use that. So let me see if I can just tell Kelvin to stay here today. And I'm going to head out and see if I can find that cave. And then every once in a while, maybe let's just go check on, there's a campsite here somewhere. Oh, it's right here. And see if this stuff has respawned since the last time I was here. Indeed, everything has. Excellent. Gimme, gimme. Oh, two extra hand grenades? Whoa, that is awesome. C4 bricks. Flares, we're good on that. Ooh, even, oh, is this frozen? Oh, wow, it is. What the hell? This isn't on the map. Are not all caves on the map? Because I just kind of walked by this crack here. I was like, wow, that might be a cave, and it is, definitely. I don't know that it's the cave we're looking for, though. So it's right on this river. Let's, I want to go ahead to the one that's up ahead this way 
And wow, okay, that kind of changes things. I thought all the caves were marked on the map. That might be like a sneaky little exit cave that they don't want you to know about. That's why it's tucked away in there. And it might be the exit to this cave right here, somewhere up here. Whoop, deer. Oh, that's the breakfast we need. Ah, I lost him. This is definitely the... This is the cave we want, although I do hear fingers here somewhere. Not fingers. Uh, whoa, oh, twins! Yikes! Keep a safe distance and strike. Oh, and prepare for the counterattack. There we go. Good. Yep, safe distance. That's the key here. Oh, ow. Whoa, that totally hurts bad. Definitely a lot easier to take them on out here in the broad daylight than it is in the caves. Holy crap, man, they're still super tough, though. And who's that? You want to come down here and be a distraction for me? Oh, crap, I got hit again. I'm losing all of my armor doing this. And finally got him. Okay, yeah, you. You got a lot of clothing on. Are you just a regular cannibal, or are you... You don't look like you're one of the big ones. Holy crap, though. He hits hard, I know that. Oh, he's a dodging one, too. Yeah, we're not gonna play this game. Just gonna go for the headshots. That did it. So, he, oh, he's... Is he wearing just a bunch of arms and legs? Well, now we definitely need to go in the cave because uh, I need to resupply on creepy armor. Yes, here we go. Here's the zip line that we couldn't get past before. Is this anything? Oh, a scuba gear tank. That's good. Zip right on over. Yep, here we are. Dropped right in. And there's a... It's a big pool here. This... Is this a scuba pool? I mean... Okay, yes. There are air tanks here. That's giving me the indication that I think they want me to... Well, go into the water, I guess. You know, the indication this might be an important cave because we need the scuba gear and we needed the rope gun to get here. Oh, you got creepies now. Holy crap! Yep, come right into the water. Can you swim? They're kind of floundering. And dead. Ooh, okay. Oh. Three or four more up ahead. Whoa, there's a lot up there. Molotov time. Really? You're going to make me get the freaking thing out to light the Molotov? Oh, jeez. Ow. Don't do that. Take that. Okay, hide in the water. Come on and get me. Here you go. Good job. Just get the proper light out for this. Okay. And I'm just going to cautiously wait for them all to drown themselves. All right, try as I might, I can't get the rest of the armor off of those guys, and I can't see anything now. So, I guess I'm just gonna leave them and move on. Already got that one. The rest of them, they're beyond my reach. Oh, look at this. Scuba flippers. Oh, that also... Oh, I'm wearing them. Wow, okay. It also reminds me I have a leather jacket. Maybe that's something that I should be wearing in the winter time. <sighs> Oh crap! Oh jeez, I'm slipping and sliding. I'm there's like a river here. Uh whoa, okay, this is not good. I see. Okay, I don't I don't see anybody. I'm good. There's ooh, I see that guy over there. That guy was not so good. Some supplies here. There was a tarp there, which is always probably an indication that you should set one up here. Okay, this area here. Looks like it's sealed off with rocks. Like, that's definitely an area back there. Okay, if we get if we get totally lost, it might be worth trying to blow that up. For now, I will just continue on the beaten path here. Okay, whoop. Trying to get some light out here. There we go. A good opportunity for the Molotov. However, eh, it's hard to do the Molotov because I gotta get the lighter. And then I gotta get the Molotov. And then I have to freaking hit L of all buttons. I need to remap that. It's really bad. And take that. Okay, we're going to do another one for good measure here. There you go. And now time for some hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, I took the head off, but she got a hit in on me. Oh, they're all squeaking through now. Oh, you bastards. You're supposed to be on fire. That was eight creepies. Wow. Okay, so the light's pointing me down that way, but I was just taking a peek over here. It, this doesn't look like they would want you to go through here. I'm gonna try it, though, because I saw a guy back here. Here he is. Ooh, look at the money. And a grenade. Nice. What's in here? Some ammo. Okay, more money. 
extra air tank. And there's a way to go down here. Okay, where do I want to go? I want to go this way, or do I want to go that way? Let's try this way first. I could possibly be doing things backwards. Oh, a bunch of money just floating down here with some limbs. Yeah, we might be going the same place either way we go. Go, oh, twins! Hello there! Okay, we've got water on the ground here, so we basically need a direct hit. There we go. Get ready with another one. Also, watch out for the babies. Have another one. Oh, that was a miss, but I still got it on fire. Good, good, good. Watch out for that baby. And the fingers. Great. Well, we know how to take that guy down. It's the spear. The spear is the only weapon that works really well on this guy. Oh! Well, kind of difficult when I'm on the high ground here. Maybe time for a bomb. I'm not sure yet. There we go. Knee shot. Watch the stamina. Crouch. Hit the knee. Hit the head. Damn it, twins. Okay, got fingers down. Okay, even after two Molotovs, this guy is still in really good shape. Don't oh, tight quarters here. Holy crap. Ha! Ah, get back. Is that the kill? No. Still up. Crap. That's the kill. Knee shot and then go for the head. If that's even a thing. Yep. He's dead. Oh, man. The spear trick is just too good for this guy. Yeah, I hear another fingers, and I'm probably just gonna blow him up because I'm sick of fighting him. He's the, the big threat around here. There he is. I got a whole handful of grenades there, too. Let's just do the time bomb. I'm a little bit more confident with this thing. There. Goodbye. Oh, the timer on that is pretty long, isn't it? Another one. Wow. This is like a freaking battle arena down here. Let's try the grenade on this one and just see which one I prefer. Okay, just maybe wait for him to kind of hold still. And yep, there we go. Excellent. A freaking... Okay, well, finger's not too big of a deal. We can do the spear with him. Oh, except you're not. Ow. There you go. Can I maybe do a sneak attack? Sneak attack into the butt! Oh no, he definitely hurt me coming. Ow. Oh, I'm losing all of my armor. This is that's such a shame. Ah! Right, don't forget the knee trick. Ah, there we go. Stamina, huge issue right now. Look out! And he's done. Now, despite everything, I'm still topped off on creepy armor. What is this? Flashlight attachment? Nice! I can put that on the pistol then. Alright, let's take it out and just have a look here. Ooh, okay. Not too bad. All by itself. Not quite as good as just the regular flashlight. Okay, just opened up into another huge cave here. With more... Oh, these are like mining workers here. These guys are working on whatever mineral this is. Have I been here? Is this... Is this where I jumped over the stalagmites? Yes. Yes, this is where I jumped over right here. Okay, so we've made it full circle. Oh, that means that we have to go into the water again and take a left where we went right before. Let me in here. So that little offshoot there was just exclusively to get the pistol flashlight. And oh! Hi there. Oh my. A whole bunch of you. Well, we know the swimming trick, so I guess we're going to do that again. I had a little bit better luck with the creepy armor on that one. I got two pieces off of them. What's next here? Oh, hello? Jeez, this is probably, I think, the biggest cave I've been in so far. Ooh, babies. Okay, babies are not too bad. Just be careful. Be careful and block. Block preemptively. There you go. And then counterattack. <gasps> what is this? Oh my god! <laughs> I think that's it for the babies. Yeah, this is like, I don't know, some kind of a facility. Oh, whoa, the shovel! Cue the dramatic music, too. Grab that. Oh, I'm... Whoa. What is this, man? Oh, I can't even go down there. I'm just being pinned. Okay, so... This is off limits then. Okay, was this all just for the shovel then? Because that, that makes a little bit of sense, because I need the shovel to go dig up the graves that were on that hill that we found a couple of days ago. However, I have no idea how I'm supposed to get out of here. I didn't see any turns that I missed or anything like that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. 
Oh, yes, the spot that I was thinking about dynamiting. Okay. Yeah, and this guy, he's stuck, I think, is the indication here. They should really give him some kind of a spitting attack, like he spits a baby at you. Oh, oh, jeez, bats. Oh, there we go. That did work eventually. Oh, you know what? This is probably going to lead us to the cave exit, like I was saying. But you wouldn't have been able to get through it because those rocks would have been in the way. It would have just been a dead end for us. Holy crap, look at the babies there. Came through the swarm of babies, my god. And I am... Where am I now? Oh, into the cave. This cave is almost too big, I would say. This is crazy. I've been down here for who knows how many days, at least a full day. Oh, here's the exit. And exactly, yes, this is the totally the exit to the cave that we found earlier. Awesome. We made it full circle then. So we explored the cave that I wanted to explore. We got the pistol flashlight and the shovel and a whole bunch of extra armor. I would say we're probably on the tail end of winter and it'll be spring here very, very shortly. And in the spring, I would like to definitely work on construction. I wanna get the base fortified. We're starting to find mutants out here and we will start doing that in the next episode. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.